Sister's library card. On Saturday, Arthur and Sister went to the library. Will you check this book out for me? Asked Sister. I can't check out baby books, said Arthur. It could go on my record. When I have my own library card, I'll check out whatever I want, said Sister. When can I get a library card? Sister asked the librarian. As soon as you can write your full name, the librarian said. But I hardly ever even see my full name, said Sister. How can I write it? I can write my full name, bragged Tommy Tibble. <laughs> Me too, said Timmy Tibble. At home, Sister practiced writing her full name. Arthur came in to see how she was doing. Doba Minifred Raybed, who's that? At dinner, Sister asked Mummy and Daddy, Why didn't you name me something easy? Like A. Mother looked at Sister's plate. Well, you're almost there, she said. Sister gasped. Hurry, hurry, more mashed potatoes! After Daddy gave her another scoop, Sister wrote, Read! I wrote my name! I wrote my name! Sister shouted. On Saturday, Sister was ready to get her library card. Oh, very nice, Dora Winifred Reed. Here is your card. Hooray! Hooray! Now I can check out any book I want. She went to find the frog book. Oh, but it wasn't there. Oh, that book was just checked out, said the librarian. It should be back in a week. Oh, a whole week, said sister. Well, it... It might be back before then, said the librarian. All week, Sister checked to see if the book had been returned. No, it's not back yet. Sorry, Sister, not yet. The next Saturday, Sister was the first one at the library. But the froggy book still wasn't there. She waited and waited and waited. Hey, sister, said a voice. It was Tommy Tibble, and his twin brother Timmy was holding the froggy book. You had it, said sister, and you heard it. It's all wrinkly. Oh, it was like that when they checked it out. We would never hurt a library book. If you do, they take away your library card forever. <laughs> the librarian checked the book out on Sister's card. Here you go, she said, and handed the book to Sister. Take good care of it. Or else, said Timmy. <gasps> He's so mean. The book looked so old. Sister, imagine what would happen if she ruined it. She would never be able to check out books again. <gasps> At home, Sister put the book in a safe place. Every day, she checked to make sure the book was all right. Yeah. Finally, time to return this. Why are you wearing oven mitts? <coughs> Arthur asked. To keep it safe, said Sister. <coughs> it won't explode, said Arthur. Did you even like it? I didn't open it 
said sister. The people said the library would take my card away if I hurt the book. It could fall apart at any minute. Well, said Arthur, if you're so worried, I'll open it. Hey, my name's in here. I checked out this book too. You checked out a baby book, said sister. It's not a baby book. It's a great book for little kids. Arthur began to read. When Arthur finished reading, Sister sniffled sadly. It was a happy story, said Arthur. Didn't you like it? I loved it, said Sister. I'm sad I have to return it. But you could check it out again, said Arthur. I can, said Sister. Yeah, it's called renewing, explained Arthur. Hooray! Sister said, then you can read it to me every day, twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Then I can renew it again and again and again and again. Oh, brother, said Arthur. Library card.